So sir, we're in your home state. I want to understand what are your aspirations for Arunachal Pradesh. See, I have a very clear goal. India is emerging as a great nation. But as Modiji has said, until or unless the northeastern region is integrated into the whole growth of India, the story will not be complete. Mm. And Arunachal has seen tremendous growth in the last 10 years. All the uh, basic infrastructure like uh, airports, railway lines, highways, village roads, water supply, electricity, all this happened mostly in the last 10 years. In the past, we used to have very bigger kind of uh, developmental uh, help from the center. But now, the central role in transforming Arunachal is massive. And Arunachal state government is also enhancing its capacity and resource mobilization. So, in the next eight to nine years time, I could very well see that Arunachal Pradesh will have one of the highest per capita income in the country. Right now, Arunachal stands somewhere below 12 to 15 ranks hmm. in terms of GDP. We are a large state, but population is very less. So the total output will never be huge as bigger states, but the GDP will be quite good. So I can very well see that as Mojiti has given so much of emphasis for the growth of Northeastern region, Arunachal and Sikkim, these two states will have, uh, I think, the per capita wise, highest income in the country. So my immediate target is to ensure that Arunachal becomes one of the finest destinations for people to come here for, uh, for the purpose of business or as a, a tourist. You should be uh, invited to Arunachal because of the inherent strength. That is what I want to create. So do you feel that somewhere it was uh, Arunachal's sticky, tricky terrain was just being used as an excuse and there was just a lack of political vision and will? The natural, whatever topography you see, yes. is God's creation, it's nature's creation. So you can't cry on the difficulties of the terrain. If there is a will, you can always do things. Uh, Congress government had a negative policy of not developing the border areas for the fear of Chinese invasion and Chinese overtaking our territory using our infrastructure. That was the uh, Congress belief. Uh, Modiji changed uh, that very approach in 2014. So Modiji had started giving all the major uh, you know, clearance for the construction of roads in the border areas. And all the district headquarters are now connected with double lane roads. And um, all the major uh, you know, border points in the uh, Indochina borders are well connected with the uh, roads. And now we are thinking in terms of creating opportunities by, uh, you know, creating more uh, production units, manufacturing centers, you know, uh, uh, giving uh, lots of impetus on the local handicraft, handlooms, food processing, and other uh, materials which are uh, very uh, confined to our natural produce. Okay. We can be a big exporter in many of the vertical you know, horticulture and agriculture products. So, Arunachal will become a very uh, dynamic state in the days to come. At the same time, sir, you came to Delhi to pursue your higher education. Maybe there was just a lack of education institutions at that point in time, but do you feel that the youth of Arunachal today will have different opportunities than you did as far as education is also concerned, specifically higher education? Uh, now, we have lots of colleges in Arunachal Pradesh. Our time, we had just... Uh, three, four colleges in our natural. So we had to go to outside the state. Now we have medical college here, we have engineering college, our natural has now um, NIT, uh, we have uh, agriculture college, right. and then our natural also have non-national level film institute. So many things have come up in last 10 years. So now our youth will not require to struggle or uh, look for opportunities like we did in our time because there were no avenues those mm. days. So things have changed and I am leading from the front and it is fortunate that Prime Minister Modiji has given me 
the position in the cabinet. This is the first time Arunachal Pradesh have a cabinet minister right. in the government. So these are big things for us. And I will assure you that what Modi ji has visualized for Northeast and Arunachal Pradesh, I will ensure that these are implemented and realized. We will accomplish all the efforts, all the targets set by Modi ji. And the aspiration of the people is rising day by day. So we have to create more opportunities for the youth. We can't just not only educate the uh, people, the youth. We we'll have to give them opportunities. We have to create avenues. We have to generate employment. So these are so many things in my mind. And we will do it. At the same time, sir, we've been hearing about uh, an Ames and Pasighat since 2019. Is there an update on that project? No, no, there are so many projects. You can, you can uh, uh, talk about so many projects which are ongoing, whether it's a, um, hydropower projects or manufacturing units, plantation projects. So many projects are going on. At the same time, sir, I want to uh, come back to politics because it's political season. Uh, do you think the Congress's promise now to hold a nationwide caste census will actually resonate with the people of India? No, the relevance of Congress is gone. They have destroyed Northeast. They made Northeast a breeding ground for militancy and all kind of uh, band culture and uh, all kind of uh, um, undesirable things uh, which we see in the Northeast. We are all the gift of the Congress party. Now the era of Congress is over. We can look back those uh, dark phases of Congress days. Now it's a prospect to look at the future and uh, the opportunities before us. Modi ji and BJP. This is the future and we don't look beyond. Now in the assembly election, out of 60 seats, 10 seats are already uncontested. In my seat also Lok Sabha seat. People are going to uh, give a record margin of victory hmm. by exercising their adult franchise. And we are very confident that we will get more support than the previous time. At the same time, Congress says that there is a need to redistribute the wealth of the nation. So they say no, that Congress, one percent uh, has no. all the wealth, and that they will bring in a progressive tax system. Mm. They're blaming your government for a total failure as far as wealth concentration is concerned. How does the BJP respond to that? I don't need to respond to Congress party. Congress wants to distribute poverty because they want to create poverty only. Why Congress has made India a poor country? Mm. 1947, all these Asian countries except Japan, China, Taiwan, South Korea, North Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, all these countries along with India and the, all the countries of South Asia, we were at the equal footing when we got the independence. And from independence to the time Modi ji came, Congress party has made India a poor nation, the per capita of India, the GDP of India is lesser than many of the African countries. That is what Congress has made India into. How can we look back and trust Congress party? They made India a poor nation, but Modi ji is making India a prosperous nation. And we are going to become a fully developed nation by 2047. All the pointers of the economic structures are indicating clearly by 2027 or 28 within Modi's third term, we will be third largest economy in the world. And in next 25 years, we will be a fully developed country. So these are things which are happening under Modi ji. Hmm. Who is so foolish enough to believe the Congress propaganda? Tell me. They rendered India a helpless, a begging nation in 60 years. Okay. Can you believe them again? At the same time, sir, coming back to the Northeast, do you feel that the uh, ethnic clashes in Manipur were uh, handled very well by the BJP? And is there somewhere a worry that it may actually have an impact on the upcoming polls? No, we all know that Manipur incident was unfortunate and the, uh, the internal uh, clashes and the conflicts between the Metis and the Cookies is something which all feel uh, that uh, very unfortunate and uh, we, f we could very well feel the pain because people are suffering. So we have appealed to them. 
under Modi's leadership, North East is progressing so well. Now, if we indulge in this kind of violent activities, mm -hmm. killing each other, targeting each other, what, what will we gain? Nothing. We need to come together and ensure that peace is the only way to progress. Okay. At the same time, sir, you spoke about border development earlier and you said that uh, Congress uh, absolutely failed to achieve that. What is the timeline that has been set now by your government to develop the border areas and the border villages? The border areas are developing so well now all our border villages have become first villages. Congress time, these were the last villages of India. Hmm. Modi ji has made all these border villages as the first villages of our country. The vibrant village program launched by Prime Minister through Home Ministry is transforming now every village is getting basic amenities the, the electricity, the water supply, the medical facilities, the school uh, uh, you know, structures, the uh, basic needs like uh, the uh, support system for the agriculture farmers, the uh, uh, Anganwadis are working in the villages now. The children are being given, provided with a portion of food to eat. The free rice distribution is actually benefiting the extreme border people where you can't have the farming and cultivation in high altitude. These are the things which are happening for the first time. We have never thought about that we could ever have such a government hmm. under Modi ji is what is happening. We never thought that such government could ever come to India and serve the border, border people. So we are very excited. Our people are extremely you know, proud of Modi ji and they are so excited to support him in the election. And do you feel this border redevelopment will be enough for India to counter China's growing aggression through uh, renaming of uh, Whatever we are, not, we are not bothered about what China, Chinese are doing. We are only bothered about our people, our land, our territory. The Modi ji is making roads in the border areas. Hmm. China is very upset. The Chinese are not used to it because hmm. Chinese are used to India neglecting border areas. And for the first time, when India is doing so much in the border areas, the Chinese are objecting to it. Why should they object? This is our territory. If the Congress government has not made any kind of infrastructure in the border area, does that mean we should also not do anything? Modi ji has changed the Congress policy. So the, the Chinese government is kind to kind of you know raising objection that why India is developing our natural process. If we don't develop our own territory, who else will develop? So these are very you know um, the unique thing which we see you know for our people that government of India is giving so much priority to our our place, our people. And we never had this kind of experience in the past because our people are so used to negligence, so used to living in isolation. Things have changed. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Rijiji. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.